What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Comic Caves graphic novel. We've got an anthology yeah. of a graphic novel right here. Hey, if you guys watched our Lightbox Expo video, we did make a comment. If you haven't, check it out below. We'll link it up. But we did mention that we met the guys from Raid uh, yes. Press. Raid had Press. a great conversation with them. And we had to pick up all four of the anthologies. And this is the first if one. If you know anything about us, we love our anthologies and we love our multi-story books. Yes. Oh. And so we picked up, this is Raid 1. This was their first anthology. And I think this is back from 2017. 17, yes. Because yeah, this was at their 15 year anniversary. So apparently Raid Studios has been around for about 20 years, they said, 15, 20 years. Now 20 years, actually, because this was back in 2017. This was the 15th year anniversary. It's produced Legends. Francis Manipool, Marcus II, Ramon Paris, so many. Uh, Ken Lashley, I believe, was in there as well for a while. Um, but this is open to... Oh, Chip Sardisky was a founding member. So, if you have a chance to read it, pause it, and read that entire forward, it is hilarious. And it really sets the tone for what you're going to get in this book. Yes. Um, Chip Sardisky, fantastic writer, and he knows how to set, how to get you ready. Starting with that peaceful story. That thing was good. Marcus too, and Anthony Falcone. It was a peaceful town. It was, dude. This artwork, this story. And these are quick in and outs. Yes. But they're so complete. They're so full of story. It's crazy, man. When you look at this, this book is maybe 150 pages. Yes. 150. Okay, it's a uh, uh, like it's 15. it's like a hundred pages, yes, and it's probably got around maybe like 15, 20 stories, and every story is a complete story. Marvel, DC, why does it take you six issues to tell me that Batman won? <laughs> yes. These guys get it done in four pages. Yes. Come on, so like, yeah, it's I, absurd. I guess it just depends on the story too, but it's no page is wasted there is no. no wasted space which is what i absolutely love and that's a testament to the fantastic this artwork one right here there, there are stories in here that make you laugh that make you feel like uh, uplifted like mm. it gives you strength that opening story man made me feel so badass like, i was like man that's such a good story Being the bum that you are <laughs> <laughs> this one was cool too because it yes. was like what's out there he like he tear he grows a tree, tears a hole in reality, or and like those cosmic guys drop an axe into the ground and he frees like a shadow girl. Yeah. What's happening? Exactly. I gotta go back and read this because like you know like we sat down and read through it, but man, I want to go back. I want to exactly. see more of that world. Rock paper scissors broke my heart. Sam. And I don't want to give too much away because truth is we want you guys to pick these anthologies up. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of skip a little bit here. But just so you guys can admire the artwork. The yeah. No, and then I'm going to just going to skip to the end, to the big reveal here. And we skip two. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to tell you guys what the truth is. Um, this is another good story too. This is another great story too. Um, there's just so much in here. Very graphic, manga style. I like the, the use of red in that one. Yes, that was beautiful. I think red, white, uh, where is it? Uh, Little red. Black, white, and red from oh. the Deadpool series and Wolverine series were always some of our favorites because of the utilization of that bright red color. And the colors. And, that was, and this is back in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Maybe but, somebody saw that. Right, and they said, hey, you know what? Let's check that out. But just the different styles. Oh, yeah. Not and Dead the, was fantastic. Yes. Um, the, the the way that they put in the circuitry like i said there's no wasted space here so much talent in one book i'm trying to, again not trying to spoil too much you can probably spoil that one too shut <laughs> up the different styles that you find in here yeah it's just to yeah. total fight comic final boss fight right? Look we're at not this. spoiling it though dude like we're not I, we're... I want somebody to sit down and actually like you're Read you're gonna this. get <clears throat> more from holding a physical copy and sitting down and reading it. Yeah, because we're not giving you the whole story. Even if we do spoil it, go back and read it to find out how it got there. So but that's how it happened. Exactly. Oh, Astro like, Boy. Yes, cool. there's homages to so much in here. Yeah. It's it's you, this, this was done by comic book lovers, graphic novel lovers. There's cat stories. Can't go wrong with kitty stories. We're going to skip a few, like again, because we want you guys to admire the artwork, but jump into it and, and it's just so seamless and and 
I think one of the most underappreciated or overlooked aspects of putting an anthology together it's kind of like putting an album together a music album together the sequence has to be important because if the sequence is off the story the mood you're, it, it's going to be off as well this whoever put this together which i'm guessing was probably ramon assisted in the editing process and, and the sequence was so well done you know and, and there was some care done there and if it wasn't, it was just kind of thrown together. You guys actually got <laughs> lucky. <laughs> you, you guys knocked it out of the park because again, the sequence of all these stories and the different styles, everything just complements each other so well. Some of them felt like they flowed right into that, the next one. Saying, that's why. Yeah. Some of them was like, wait, that's, they that story is over. Talking to each so other when they were story, like yeah. working on these? Cause... The Payaso story was good too, man. I was like, whoa, this took me, yeah. Wordless comics. I love that. I yeah. love Wordless comics, man. This is just another level. And again, I make my own art. dialogue. Great art. Dude, this. And then that's actually the last one. And it goes into telling you some more about the creative team, who they all are, and some pictures afterwards in here. From start to finish, this first collection of Raid 1 is. I wish I would have read it back yes. then. Me too. But we're reading it now. And now we're trying to tell you guys, check them out. They uh, do have an Instagram. If not, they do have a website, uh, theraidstudio.com. Tell them what's up. Find out where you can pick up their books. And if you can't order them online, they're well worth it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. We'll, well we'll put worth the it. links in the, in the description down below. And this well. is just our first dive. Yeah, yeah, we, we got three more three to go. More. So, more, so there you go. Check the it out. Raid Highly anth recommend. It. Raid One Anthology from Raid Press. We are in the Comic Cave and we are out.